that brings the curse and the water that brings the curse shall enter her and cause bitter pain. The priest shall take the grain offering of jealousy out of the woman's hand and shall elevate the grain offering before the Lord and bring it to the altar and the priest shall take a handful of the grain offering as its memorial portion and turn it into smoke on the altar and afterwards shall make the woman drink the water. When he has made her drink the water, then if she has defiled herself and has been unfaithful to her husband, the water that brings the curse shall enter her and cause bitter pain, and her womb shall discharge, her uterus drop, and the woman shall become an exaggeration among her people. But if the woman has not defiled herself and is clean, then she shall be immune and be able to conceive children. This is the law in case of jealousy, when a wife, while under her husband's authority, goes astray and defiles herself, or when a spirit of jealousy comes on a man and he is jealous of his wife, then he shall set the woman before the Lord and the priest shall apply his entire law to her. The man shall be free from iniquity, but the woman shall bear her iniquity. Word of the Lord.